mentally unstable man is face to face with two deadly predators. His name, Zhang Ho Chen. The 46-year-old was addicted to amphetamines, abusing alcohol, and hearing voices in his head when he climbed into the lion's den at the Taipei Taiwan Zoo. I saw and they, they, someone jump into the, the, the den. I said, this is uh, this is amazing. Chen takes off his jacket, waves it like a matador. Then it happens. That lion comes up and just knocks it out of his hand. And you see how the person reacts and kind of shrinks back. Scott Lope runs Florida's Big Cat Rescue. He knows the damage these carnivores can do. They have these huge canines that they stab their prey with and easily penetrate through thick hide. They can even take down an elephant. Incredibly, after the first attack, Chen makes no attempt to escape, and the 300-pound male strikes again. Chen has been bitten and mauled, but he's so out of it, he still doesn't try to get away. And this king of the jungle wants another piece of him. I was a bit shocked. We were all appalled as to why someone would jump in there. Everyone was nervous because anything could happen at any time. Officials decide to tranquilize the big cats. But it's not just the lions that worry them. We were worried that the man would charge at the lions. We communicated with the zoo director and we discussed whether or not we needed to tranquilize the man. But they don't have the proper dosage for humans. Instead, they'll try to keep the predators away with a high-pressure hose. The zoo's chief vet aims his dart gun. Then he fires. When the lion was shot, at the first moment, he jumped up and started to roar. But two of the other shooters missed their marks. Fearful Chen's running out of time before a fatal attack, they resort to the fire hose. And it's up to the men with the blowguns to bring the cats down. Right here, a dart from a blowgun hits the big male. He runs out of sight, right into his cage. But the female is still a threat. Suddenly, she makes a move that frightens everyone. She charges right at Chen. But the high-pressure fire hose scares her off. Finally, cops see an opportunity. They beg Chen to come out. It's a tense negotiation, but Chen heeds their pleas. And he limps toward the service entrance and safety. The lions are unharmed and sleep off the tranquilizer. But Chen has severe gashes and serious bite wounds. I was on drugs and drinking excessively every day. And if you ask me what I was thinking, I would say I was thinking things that weren't realistic. I didn't know what I was thinking. Chen spent a month in a psychiatric hospital where caregivers not only tended to his wounds, they got him off the drugs. It was the beginning of a whole new life. These days, he's clean and sober, grateful for his friends and for people he didn't know who rescued him from the lion's den.